he had a jump, but he he seemed to be mashing up B. Might have been a um. Might have just been a buffer potentially. Yeah, probably didn't realize how much lag was gonna be there. And uh, do we have totally different players now. Yes, we do because that was a that was game two. All right, Peepro versus Solar Beam. <laughs> All right, sorry. I <laughs> genuinely have zero. I just like Matrix time jumped or something. <laughs> Uh, all right, next set. Uh, we're gonna have Mega Man versus Wolf. Hit me with the thoughts on this app, uh, on this, uh, on this matchup while my brain readjusts to the current time zone. <laughs> well, I find it, personally, I find it very difficult to get in versus Mega Man. Because even though Wolf does have a reflector, it's not super effective against pellets. Uh, it's being that it, it'll just barely stop him for any second for any second and you're in a lot of lag uh, whenever you put in the reflector so basically you have to find moments to get in and 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 punish any like any special move he puts in he puts out I, I personally find it quite annoying uh, though I think that's pretty much every matchup against Mega Man is it? <laughs> pretty annoying. I think that's just every matchup in the game. Yeah, true. Every matchup in the game is annoying. Ban every care. The um, only honest thing is Donkey Kong Dittos. That's oh, no. not honest at all. I don't know what aware. you're talking about. <laughs> dying at dying at any percent is not the most honest thing in the world. What can I say? When everyone dies at zero, then no one will. You're not wrong. <laughs> The, the syndrome logic. When everyone's broken, no one will be. Um, anyway, we have been sorely neglecting the actual action in front of us, and then there's a wolf at 175%, and this is admittedly kind of one of the weaknesses of Mega Man. He has kill power, definitely does, but when you're in this situation of like, I just need to find the kill, I just, I'm in neutral, and all I need to do is find that singular hit, it can be real difficult. Finally catches the landing with the forward smash, but this is the sort of thing where if we have that repeated again and again, I would call this match completely done for uh, for Solar Beam. Like if he, if he's not dying until 175 every stock, true. How, but how can he lose? It's very. But Solar Beam still didn't get a ton of damage on Pete Bro on his second stock before he got killed. Killed. A lot of damage doesn't mean much when you have a character that just does a lot of damage in general. If you can still kill before taking a ton of damage on the second stock, you're, I think you're still in a good position. Um, right now, Pete Bro is getting beat up pretty badly on this stock. Hip, he's going hip for hit, but clearly that tends to be... Oh, well, what, what can I say? He came back immediately. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, Mega Man's damage output in the right situation. Because, like, yes, if he's just thinking you for pellets, it doesn't, you know, that, that percent doesn't go up very quickly. But then he gets that singular setup where it's just like, oh, he hit you with the Metal Blade in the right position and take, like, all of his damage. He might just straight up die. Yeah, just dying. That was a very, went very quickly from, like, 50 to death. Uh, felt like almost out of nowhere, but Peepro absolutely used his advantage state quite well. Um, um, just holding on to it forever. And Solar Beam now finding the difficulty killing and just getting off the ledge in general. Yeah, that is something about this matchup. Uh, Wolf can definitely be edge guarded by Mega. At the very least, he can eat a lot of damage struggling to get back. Oh, but you have oh. to be careful. Edge Guarding Wolf is always a double-edged sword because- That is the classic wolf. You gotta be careful standing next what? to the What? You thought you were an advantage because you're above me and I'm off stage? Baka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Peepro still dominating this stock though. Very quick, very quickly dealing them. Um Dealing like 70 damage to Peepro. Let's start to Solar Beam. Um, right, Pe side. Alright, doesn't matter. Yeah, Peepro just by the end.
figuring out what he needed to do. He was not struggling with to end the, the, the second and third stock like he was the first. And with just consistent neutral play, with consistent edge guarding and combos, it's only natural that he managed to take that stock, uh, take that uh, game with a uh, low percent one stock. Um, Solar Beam, he was pretty, he got pretty manhandled in that third stock. I'm going to be interested to see if he ends up up changing up any of his tactics and like what stage he's going to choose. It was because this character can be pretty volatile. Yeah, actually, so as we just saw in the replay, that second stock, uh, Solo Bean started to use a lot more uh, laser. Ready? And he managed to get a little bit of damage here and there, but the way he lost that second stock was actually because Gibro managed to out space the laser and with a simple follow-up took the stock all right we're actually getting a character oh switch. wow um now the advantages i can think of going sephiroth are why would you need to approach when your effective range is half of battlefield yeah but who needs approaching when you can oh oh my my my, my gasp was warranted that is a brutal stock to be losing right now. That, yeah yikes Losing the stock so early on, it's going to be quite the fight to come back now. Yeah, uh, however, um, it could just be like long-term planning, because now one winged Angel will trigger even earlier. <laughs> is this the... Um, Look at that! 50% and it's already online. Is this the new, Lucar the Lu the new Lucario-esque? Like, I'll die to become even stronger. <laughs> I mean, I've never played Final Fantasy VII. I feel like Sephiroth <laughs> did that, right? Uh, not really, but hey, <laughs> I'm sure he would. If if, if he could die just a torment cloud, he absolutely would. Um. <laughs> so yeah. So far, this hasn't been the worst stock of all time. Wimp all right, but um, Solar Beam kind of beat up. Pro on that stock, but he's still a stock down, so we now, shall uh, see how it works out for the rest how of the does set. One wing, can you quickly explain how One Winged Angel works? Uh, when is it set to expire? So, when is it to, It basically set to expire. It doesn't have a specific time. It's when. It's pretty much when your opponent is close enough to your percent on the. um or too far above your percent uh, on the same stock you're on, basically. It's, it pretty much expires when the game says it's going to expire. <laughs> All right, and as we see, I think it just expired. Yeah, he is no longer yes. has that uh, that comeback wing helping him out. Oh, cute! But uh, no not enough to has... actually get off the ledge. All right, so. So, so far, the game's been pretty even, despite the, um, or relatively even, given the first stock went away in, like, five seconds. But yeah, he broke... Yeah, definitely, it's the sort of thing where without that first stock, uh, this, would, this could be a very close game. On the other hand, once again, tactically using, uh, using, getting one wing and angel very early. <laughs> yes, of course. Um... Yeah, okay, so Peepro still 80% up. I clearly, um, Solar Beam is using One Wing and Angel very well to his advantage. He was getting kind of beat up up until he got it and then took Peepro's stock extremely quickly. <laughs> Honestly, so then, you know, kind of the narrative of this match has been dictated by the first five seconds of it, but I do want to dwell on the fact that. Uh, the neutral has been really effectively played by Solar Beam. Look at the way that he's using his sword to outmatch almost every projectile that uh, Pete Bro has been trying to use. Uh, as I say, that does finally manage to find an opening with a grab of all things, but he's uh, this is actually very scary. There are, I, I, there are probably ways that Sephiroth could clean this stock up, even now, even on battle. Oh, oh definitely. I feel like it is much closer than the percents make it look. Clearly, he he was close to dying off a single up smash. Uh, oh, 
and there we go. It was a 2-0, but it was pretty close. What can I say? At least for the last game. I do think that the switch to Sephiroth was definitely the right call. Uh, obviously, that very unfortunate opening just kind of dictated the pace of the match. And I do think that Solar Beam played really well, and I really hope to see more of his uh, Sephiroth as he makes his losers run. But that's just simple, simply uh, Mega Man going to continue on in the winner's bracket.